Hello guys. Happy Wednesday. And um today is June 1st. I believe it's June 1st. Happy June guys. Can you believe it? we're halfway throughout the year? In today's video, I just want to give you an update my plants and give you a few tips. Um here's the money tree plant. It's my daughter's. Still doing well. Today is very cloudy outside. We have rain today. It's been cloudy all day. And, um, yeah, everything's just coming to life. All the greenery, all the trees grew, all their leaves. And now it's harder to look across the road. It's very nice and beautiful. I love it. I love the scenery in Connecticut. Okay, so let's start with the plants. All right, so here are my plants. Okay. So, they're still alive and well. I will explain what I have done here. So, this is a she's grown since the last time I have to, um, put up a video. She's uh, growing very beautifully. And um, this uh, ivy plant that's with this plant is also growing. Okay. I do have one of those, um, uh, it's, uh, you buy it at the Dollar Tree or Walmart, but I got this at the Dollar Tree before the prices went up, and, um, and you put water in it, so when the dirt start getting dry, it will self-water your plants. It's great for people that forget. I have the other one here, but it's going to go in this one. This is my ivy plant. And um, I got it for two years now. Um, it's been two years now I have this plant, or I think three years actually. My daughter gave it to me for Mother's Day about two to three years ago. And she's doing very well and healthy. And um, she's growing some um, new leaves here, new babies, mm -hmm. which makes me happy. She has new babies here growing. And she has a few in here in there growing. And um yeah, you have to be patient with this plant. Um the ivy plant you could also put her outdoors, but you have to contain her in a pot because she grows very wild and could take over your your yard or your backyard, your garden. So they're doing very well. And this is my other plant here. Well, this is my daughter's plant. I just helped take care of it. And um, she's doing very well. She has these beautiful leaves here. And she's also growing babies. More leaves. I call them babies. They're my babies. But she's growing more leaves. Yep. Now with the hot weather, we really got to start watching our plants and check the dirt see if it needs more water okay so she continues to grow put this here so she could climb because she's um she's been growing this is a very long and we put it here so for now yep that one's there she's right here and she's actually this long she keeps going. She's very beautiful. And um, so this is her right here. And she's gotten, she looks beautiful, very greeny. Very beautiful. Sorry, it's dark in here. I'm in the bathroom. But, um, we're doing laundry, so excuse the clothes. There we go. And she has more in here that are long. We just wrapped her around. And, uh, here she will sit until she stops draining water. Okay, so. Now, I have some. 
I found little tiny, tiny little knacks inside the plant. Lots of them in my two plant. I'm just this one. And I don't see them anymore. If you see anything moving in there, yes, that's dumb. You see a little speck of white? That was dumb, but they're not moving anymore. Anyways, um, that is common for the uh, summer warm weather, summertime. You might get these for your indoor plants or your, in your garden outdoors. Okay, so ever since I did this, this treatment on the plant today, I don't see them, but um, there's a way to treat the any kind of little bugs you find in your plants. They will invade your plant, and if you don't get rid of them, they will kill your plants. Oh, look, she got more babies here. Okay, so the tip for today is to check them every week. And now they sell all this other sprays at the store that you could buy to uh, pet control, pets control on your, your plants, house plants in your garden outdoor. But this is what I use. This is actually uh, the natural way to do it. And you can find these, this recipe in Google. So you take a bottle of water. Let me just show you what I use. So it's just four things you need okay you need vegetable oil one fourth cups I have no vegetable oils I have pure canola so for today because I was desperate and I found them today that's what I use today but you use vegetable oil we're gonna get some tomorrow you need a spray bottle you need a uh, cinnamon and you need um I use this for this is not only for you to wash your hair with or bathe with you could wash clothes with this but also dr brown's um pure castor or soap is great for um your plants and for your garden to keep the bugs out okay oh, and i forgot to introduce to you uh show you how my um pearl plant's doing and this is a pearl plant and look how beautiful she's growing she grew all this all the way down if you watch my last plant progress video you will see that it was this side look how long she's gotten when i bought her she was about had only this one was the size of this one and this one just grew out okay look how long i bought a seashell plant holder and i can't wait till i put her up and so now then this side is growing and if you can see the little baby ones growing Show it to you there there they are they're right here and there's one right there the pearls that are growing one right there so she continues to grow did you know that the pearl plant is a succulent plant yes so you have to it's very easy to take care of okay you know like succ succulent plants don't need a lot of water so I'm just gonna give you the tip about this plant and then we're gonna move on about the treatments for bugs. And all the house plants that were in a different room did not have the bugs. That's why you don't see cinnamon on here or anything like that. But I am gonna give them a treatment just in case. Um, the pearl plant, I open one of these, they have water in it. So when the dirt gets dry or they need water, um, they will use the water that's in the pearl plant okay so she you don't have to put them in a very big pot it says to once you transplant the plant to another pot just all you need is like a this is a small pot but maybe i could have just went a little smaller up to here the roots don't grow very long so you don't need um a big pot and um i think this is about a about a five inch pot you could probably get away with a four inch but um it's just beautiful how she's growing so in the winter months you just have to water them once a month in the summer months 
you check the dirt every two weeks and water them accordingly if you put your finger in the dirt and it's about an inch dried and you water it okay and it's no direct sun you just put it you know probably a feet away from the window and they the net they all they need is the natural light and artificial light so if you have grown growing lamps or even just the light from your room it would help them but if it can't not have direct sun so you could put it near a window but make sure the sun is not hitting on it it shouldn't be sitting on your window cell okay so I am um, sharing this with you guys because this is a beautiful plant I heard this plant is from Africa so it's very beautiful she keeps hanging that's how she grows she hangs down so I can't wait for this side to grow out and hang on the other side okay so for the tip for today to keep the bugs out of in killing your plants and living in your dirt is you get you put warm water in a spray bottle you put one fourth of a cup of the vegetable oil and you put a tablespoon of this soap and warm water that's why you put in the spray bottle you shake it up you spray the leaves and because this has no chemicals I also spray the dirt because that's where I've seen a lot of them also cinnamon is recommended to keep bugs away from your plants your uh, garden also your garden where you're growing plants outside flowers or food this is a good remedy for that too so as you can see that's why I put cinnamon on here because the, I was horrified to see those little creatures in there and they're very tiny they're like very tiny very 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 tiny you could easily miss them but I see them moving around there earlier today right now I don't see them I don't know if they're hiding I don't know what's going on but I think I hope it hopefully it worked I don't want them to kill my beautiful babies these are my babies this is my second family <laughs> my first family of course are my children but my plants are my baby they they bring me joy they clean the air in my house and these are living plants. You have to take care of them. So that is the tip for uh, growing, uh, keeping the bugs this time of year. You might find some in your house plants. And especially if you're growing an indoor garden, this is also good to use this remedy for the indoor garden. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Brown is as best as organic you're going to get of a soap to use for your leaves and your plants okay so I did spray on the dirt like I said I don't think it's gonna harm anything and um, yeah so share with me the plants that you are growing and my family they help me with the plants I don't carry the big ones like this one and the other one in the bathroom my teenager does that um, I water it and then she once the water is drained out she puts it back in the room and um, she, these are up high on the shelf. She takes these down for me. So she does help me because I won't be able to do this because of, you know, the health issues I have. But anyways, so just give me the progress of my beautiful babies here. And um, please share some tips with me if you have any tips on how to take care of my plants. If you have a different tip than what I have. Um, remember the hot weather's here and just keep checking your dirt every two weeks or every two week, you know, um, look it up and Google how to take care of your plants. Some of them need very light, not a lot of fuss, not a lot of water. Some of them do. Okay. So, yep. So guys, thank you so much. Um, keep an eye for my next video. I'm going to show you tips how to, um, germinate your seeds faster to grow your flowers and vegetables not just the vegetables flowers too all right guys and also tomorrow i will be putting that video up tomorrow and i'll show you my my two flower pops in the outside tomorrow and show you how they're growing how they're doing thank you guys so much for watching my videos please give me a thumbs up if you like this video i'm trying to reach 100 thumbs up in my you know, at least for some of my videos in my channel. And so that way, if you do that, it will, and then other people will be able to find my channel and my videos. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting this channel. God bless you. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.